In this tutorial, I'd like to show you 3D text panels from Squid FX. 3D text panels gives you some dynamic, customizable animated 3D text effects for your projects. 3D text panels was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find them in the Titles browser under Squid FX 3D text panels. There are 12 presets available. Let's take a quick look at all 12. These presets come in a range of styles, including backlit boxes with rounded edges, inspired by vintage electric signs from recording studios and old-fashioned television sound stages. Let's start with 3D Text Panel 1. When you select the text in the viewer, it displays the position and rotation controls. It's easy to work with the panel on screen because all the graphic elements are locked to the text object. Let's keep the text centered as we explore the inspector controls. In the parameters, I'll first go to the text settings to customize the text. 3D Text Panels has a robust set of inspector controls. You can double-click the inspector header to see them all at once. The first section deals with the appearance of the panel. Panel style allows you to jump between the vintage panel with rounded corners to other options, including text alone. You'll still be able to take advantage of the many other awesome features. Let's stick with Retro Round Panel for this example. The shading drop-down menu lets you turn off the dynamic highlights and shadows. This produces a flatter cell shaded appearance. I'll keep the shadows and highlights on because I think they look amazing. The area behind the text is referred to as the faceplate. You can select different materials for the faceplates. The backlit options display the text in silhouette. So with faceplates such as marbled or orange, it's best to stick with a darker color for the text. The opaque faceplate styles don't light up, so when you work with them, go ahead and select a brighter text color. That way it will appear there's a light bulb inside the panel lighting up your text. Let's switch back to a backlit faceplate and change the box color from beige to green. You can independently adjust the width and the height of the text panel, or you can use the scale slider to reduce them both simultaneously in addition to the text. If we rotate the panel, you can better visualize how the depth slider and the border size slider affect the title. The next section of the inspector deals with the text objects. Currently, there is only one line of text. When you add a second line of text, the first line moves up to make room. Each line can be positioned independently, depending on the needs dictated by the size of your fonts. The next set of parameters allow you to control the animation of the title. The first is the panel light drop-down menu, with options to fade the electricity in the text panel, or flicker it to full strength or simply begin switched on from the beginning of the title. The Build Animation menu has 20 presets to build your title. Let's take a look at a few. I really like Pass Under Sideways. If the movement is too fast, you can slow it down with the built-in speed slider. If it's still too intense, you can turn on the softer build checkbox, which reduces the amount of movement in the animation for times when you want a more subtle build. Although you could keyframe the rotation or position of the text panel, you won't have to because we've included checkboxes that produce a slow rotation and a slow zoom. They switch direction automatically depending on the type of build animation you have selected. The soft, drifting motion creates just enough 3D interest to hold your audience's attention. And finally, the background options allow you to toggle between a transparent background and a solid background, with an additional option for text shadow that suggests lights and a stage. 3D Text Panels brings a vintage style into a brand new dimension. Between the simple on-screen controls and the precision of the inspector, 
you can dial in the exact look you want to create for awesome 3D titles, all within Final Cut Pro. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.